with constant multiples. We want to differentiate a constant multiple of a function and see if we can express that in terms of the derivative of f. So we start with the definition. This derivative is simply the limit as h approaches 0 of c times f evaluated at x plus h minus c times f evaluated at x, all this divided by h. But multiplying a function by a constant, by definition, this is just plugging in the value inside f and multiplying the result by the constant. So that means that we get c multiplied by the value of f at x plus h minus c multiplied by the value of f at x, and we can factor out c. Now we have c multiplied by f of x plus h minus f of x over h, and we're looking at the limit as h approaches 0. In the case where f is differentiable, the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h is f prime of x and does exist. And we know from the study of limits that if I have a quantity that admits a limit and I multiply it by a constant, the limit of this new expression is going to be simply the constant multiplied by the limit. In other words, we obtain the constant multiplied by f prime of x. So this is one more rule that we have now available to simplify our calculations of limits. For instance, if now I want to differentiate 5x to the fourth, I can pull out the constant multiple 5, and it's 5 times the derivative of x to the fourth, which I can obtain using the power rule. Therefore, I obtain 20x cubed. The second thing that we need to differentiate polynomials is to be able to differentiate a sum of two functions. So let's look at the derivative of a sum. By definition, it is the limit of the sum f plus g evaluated at x plus h minus the sum f plus g evaluated at x over h as h approaches 0. But the sum of two functions is defined by taking the sum of the values that both functions take. Therefore, we obtain f of x plus h plus g of x plus h, and then we subtract f of x plus g of x. All this is divided by h. If we reorder the terms, we obtain the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, to which we add g of x plus h minus g of x over h. Both terms have a limit. The first one tends to f prime of x, the second to g prime of x. Since we know that, provided that all the limits exist, the limit of the sum is the sum of the limits, we obtain that f plus g, that the derivative of f, f plus g is the derivative of f plus the derivative of g. Here is our new rule. So now we have these three rules available to us the power rule, constant multiple rule, and the sum rule. And now, if we want to differentiate a polynomial, we can apply all these rules successively, even though, of course, uh, pretty quickly, we're not going to write all these steps explicitly. But since this is the first one, let's see what rules we need. I'm differentiating a sum, so I can use the sum rule and write that this is the sum of the derivatives. Each term in this sum is a constant multiple of a power of x, so I can use a constant multiple rule and pull out the multiplicative constant. Now, I only have to differentiate either a constant or a power of x, and I can use the power rule to do that. I obtain 5 times 4x cubed for the derivative of x to the fourth, 3 times 2x for the derivative of x squared, the derivative of x is 1, so I get 2 times 1, and the derivative of a constant is 0. At the end, the derivative of my polynomial is 20x cubed minus 6x plus 2. Now we're going to see later plenty of additional examples, but before, we're going to move to the next video to learn how to differentiate products and quotients.